Island News Midday Update is sponsored by Soldier to Soldier, Hawaii Realty. Happy Thursday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukuna with your Island News Midday Update. Breaking news now, the medical examiner rules the death of a seven-year-old autistic boy from Mililani as an accidental drowning. Island News just found out from the Honolulu Medical Examiner that Paul Kevin Rosier's manner and cause of death is ruled as an accidental drowning. On Christmas Day, Rosier's body was found floating in the backyard swimming pool of an unoccupied home on Ananiya Drive. He had gone missing on Christmas Eve and will have more on this development story on Island News tonight. Also an update for you at midday, the woman arrested for slamming into a bus stop in Haula that left a man dead over the weekend appears in district court today. And this is new video from our Island News crew. This is at district court for Vika Uña's first hearing and police arrested her for negligent homicide on Saturday after she slammed into a couple at a bus stop in Haula, killing a 61 year old man and injuring a woman. And police say she veered off Kamehameha Highway then slammed into water pipes, a tree, and that couple at the bus stop. And police say Unya then fled the scene and was caught and later arrested. Her preliminary hearing is set for January 26th. Well, tonight you can discover some new career opportunities in the technology field at the Japanese Cultural Center. And the 18th annual Holiday Tech Job Fair connects hundreds of tech and IT job seekers with more than 40 local businesses that are looking to hire local talent. And it's part of the state's 8080 initiative, which aims to create 80,000 new tech jobs, paying $80,000 a year. The event is open to the public and is free. It starts tonight at 5 at the Japanese Cultural Center on 2454 South Baratania Street. As always, don't forget to tune into Island News tonight at 5, 6, and 10 for the very latest.